In this video, I'll show you how you can rotate your drawing using the UCS command. That way you don't have to rotate your actual physical drawing and destroy the coordinates that the architect and topographical survey worked so hard to put them in place. And also we will go more in depth about the UCS for 2D and I'll throw a bonus tip at the end of the video which saved me quite some time uh, in my day to day work. To start with, we need to understand what UCS is. UCS stands for User Coordinate System. So if you imagine a square space and the bottom left is 0, 0, then when you draw at, let's say, 50, 60, that is a coordinate. And that's basically what UCS does. Now, you can rotate the x-axis. So basically, instead of having it like a crosshair, which usually that's what you know, you can rotate the x-axis. So let me just show you real quickly. So if you zoom out, you can see the green line, which represents the Y axis and the red line, which represents the X axis. Now, if you click on the Y X, then you actually you can rotate your UCS and you can see the rectangles rotated as well. Now, if you've done some mistake, don't worry, just type UCS and then hit W for world and it will bring you back to your world coordinate system. How do we rotate this drawing so it can fit our viewport? Now it obviously fits now, but what I want to do is I want to have the building rotated so it can be, let's say, parallel to my viewport bottom line. That way it makes it more appealing and easily to read, which is something us engineers, we don't really care, but the clients does. He wants to see something beautiful. So let's begin. I'll go to my uh, viewport and then what I'll do is just align roughly in the middle of the drawing. Now, in your case, we want to just set your scale Where am mine. I'll set it at one to 500. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle around my viewport. Then I'm going to select my rectangle and then go to home, modify, change space. And then it will actively select the viewport that I want to transfer my rectangle to. So basically what it does is the viewport opens a portal between the paper space and the model space and it transfers that rectangle so you need to select which viewport you want to transfer the rectangle to in this case we have only one viewport so we just have to double click outside and it's done if we go back to model space you can see our rectangle has been imported now what i want to do basically is i want to rotate my drawing so it can be something like this so basically if i bring the corner bring it rotated the corner of the building you can see it aligns nicely so all I have to do now is just select it and kind of pinpoint it in the middle. Now you can see I've dropped a block to show where my north is. And you see my crosshair at the moment is this. So that is my X axis and this is my Y axis. So what I'm going to do next, because I want to rotate it slightly. So basically I'm rotating the north, not rotate the north, but I'm rotating the drawing there. So that's where the north should be shown. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just type UCS and then I'm going to define the new zero zero point, which is the bottom corner. And then usually the X is always on the right hand side. And then because we are going to rotate it, I'm just going to match the bottom corner of that rectangle. Then we're going to have to select the Y axis if the top will be positive or the bottom. I want the top one because I don't want to deviate too much from my north. Now, as you can see, my north is still showing up, but the, but the y axis has shifted. Now, this is what we've done. So basically, the two world coordinates, we were drawing this way. So up was north, but now in this case, that way is north. What I'll do next is just save the UCS. So UCS and then type NA for named and then save and then type option one. And then, yes, I'm going to replace it. In your case, probably you don't have to replace it. Once I've done this, I'll just go back to my paper space, double click in my viewport, type UCS, and then NA for named, restore, and then type option one. So basically the exact name. And you can see now the cursor axis have shifted to match the UCS that we've defined. And then we're going to type plan CU. And now it rotated and as you can see now the north is showing the right way because we've rotated it and all i'm gonna do is just rescale it on 500 and that's how i rotate my drawing i can rotate this drawing as well so it can match the viewport 
the same thing to do is make sure you're in the UCS that you've defined and then type plan and then current. Now you can see that my north is facing that way. So that is where it is. But if you look at my coordinates, they're kind of messed up. Now to bring my coordinates back to normal, I just type UCS and then world. And now you can see this was the true north that way and the X that way. So this is the UCS that we defined and this is the world uh, coordinate system. And you can draw exactly how the viewport will look like. Now, when you import blocks, this is a tip. For example, I have a block for the finish wall level. If I'm on the world coordinates and I use the plan to rotate the drawing just to match the viewport, you can see when I import the blocks, they come tiny bit shifted. Now, this problem happens, why? Because when you draw a block, the block is drawn based on the UCS. So basically goes, hey, this is the Y is up that way and the X is that way and it brings the block accordingly. Now, if I just go to UCS and then named and then restore back to option, option one, actually to the world, let's type UCS world and then plan CU. You can see when I bring my finish fall level, now it matches my cursor. So if I put my cursor, you can see it follows a straight line. I'm just going to switch back, type plan, see you. And if I keep my option one UCS, when I bring the block now, it will match and everything will be horizontal and it will match the viewport. So everything will be nice and neat and tidy. So you can see here that was the original UCS the world and this is the defined UCS option one. So this is how you rotate your drawing. So now let's jump into the theory of UCS. So what is UCS? UCS is user coordinate system. And basically what it does is we defined a plane. So if we zoom out, you can see that this is the zero zero and England's coordinate system are based on a zero zero and then they plotted the UK. That's how they do the Eastings and Northings. So you can bring your coordinates if you click on the customization, the three lines at the bottom right, and then just tick the coordinates and bring them. Now, when we change the UCS, basically essentially what we're doing is we're grabbing that Y X axis, the zero zero point and bringing it closer and we're rotating it so it can fit. So at the moment, the X axis is this. So let's make the text tiny bit bigger. So this is the X axis and this is the Y axis. So when I want to change my UCS, basically I'm telling it, okay, look, because I'm want to draw it this way, I'm just going to grab this and copy it so I can show you what I mean. And then I'm just going to rotate it so it can match. So basically that's how it becomes. So basically the North for this case, it will be shifted towards the Y axis basically will match with the Y. If I type UCS, some options will appear. So face is for 3D objects. Named is basically, if you click on it, you have three options, delete, restore, and save. So the restore, you restore a UCS that you have already saved, save, you save a new UCS and delete, you delete it and the question mark is just querying. Then we have the object. So basically you can change your UCS by clicking on an object. So if I click object and select this, you can see the Y and X preview appears and you can see now I've changed my UCS. That's a quicker way to do it, but I prefer to do it manually. Then we have the previews, which basically restore to the previous UCS and it can do it up to 10 times. So it, it saves on the RAM memory 10 times the UCS that you've changed. And then we have the view, which I think is for 3D. And then we've got the world. So if you messed up your UCS and let's say you change it and you have the UCS this way, let's say, see, the X now is facing up, the Y is facing left. You type UCS and then world, it brings the UCS back to the world coordinates. And then we have the UCS man command. Now, this command basically shows you the named UCS. You have the world and option one. So if I double click on option one and hit OK, it brings my option one. And if I type UCS man, basically UCS manager, then I just double click on world and bring on the world. So there you go. Now there is a last command you need to remember. It's plan CU. So basically, which plan do you want to show? Like the current UCS, the UCS you want to define or the world. So if I type UCS, enter the name of the UCS. Or if I want to type, I want to show the world plan, world 
it's gonna show it because that's how it is but if i change it to plan ucs let's say let's switch the ucs to option one and then type plan current so we rotated it and then we type plan world it will bring it back to how the world is but if we type plan current you can see it rotates the drawing so the y and x axis are how we know it so x is the towards the right y is up but if we type plan world it brings it to the right place but the coordinates are still not done because we are still on the option one ucs now the bonus tip which is this drop down here where you can switch between world and option one or any other options you want so how to do this just type cui for custom user interface and then just go to your ribbon and then tabs and pick any tab that you have in your autocad i would go to home uh, 2d and then layers and just give it a few seconds on my computer's time slow and what i'm gonna do is now i'm gonna click on the home layers and then i'm gonna click on the row i want to add that drop down in this case i'm gonna add it next to this unsaved layer state so i click it and then it, it expands the row that it is in now i'm gonna go to the command list change to all commands and control type named ucs and there is the combo control click drag and drop underneath the ribbon combo box which is what we have and we have the option one here so if i hit apply and then okay and then go to home then layers you can see my ucs drop down is here so we can go from world or to option one I obviously customize my own cui so basically i just have it straight away because i use only this cui and rarely use the other one so i wanted to have it in mouse click reach other than that that's all you need to know so you need to know ucs world ucs restore and save and then ucs man to manage and then plan cu and plan world so basically you need to remember before you save your drawing you should type ucs world just to make sure everything is back to the original coordinates so when your colleague comes and he wants to add a new extra or bring something in it will come in the right coordinates because when you change the ucs and let's say change it to option one and let's say we are going to detach this topographical survey so let's detach it and then i'm going to bring it back in you will see that topographical survey did not come in the right place. So let's detach it again and try it again for UCS world. So if we go attach to WG, topographical survey will come in the right place. Now this will work even if you have rotated your drawing. So if we change to UCS option one, plan current, and then we change it back to world, we only rotated the drawing let's say imagine there is a paper and basically you're just shifting it the coordinates did not change the paper just shifted so then if i bring my topographical survey it will still come in the right place even though it looks like the drawing has been rotated so that's how it's done i hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more video like this leave in the comments below hit the like button because it will help me in the long run and subscribe and share with your colleagues so they can learn as well about the UCS and how to stop rotating the actual drawings. And I'll see you in the next video.